What's up guys, I'm Vortech and welcome back to Minecraft. We're in 1.16, checking out a quick mod today. It's a quick mod spotlight of botany pots. I have two different types of botany pots on me right now. I'm gonna show you what these do. So, botany pots, if you do at botany, you get all the different types. You can dye these whatever color you want, but you can start with just the regular old terracotta botany pot here. And if you combine it with a hopper, you can get a hopper botany pot. Now, these might look a little bit familiar to you. There is a mod for uh, bonsais where you can grow trees and they'll just automatically grow on one tile and automatically disperse different uh, bits of tree into, in this case, a storage drawer or a chest, whatever you decide to put them on top of. That is, of course, if you use the hopper version of it. Because if you don't, uh, you can just get the product but uh, you'll have to hand harvest it. So we have some wheat growing in a regular botany pot. I'll show you exactly what I mean. I'll put some dirt in here and some wheat in here. And uh, the difference here is that I'll have to hand harvest this, but the product of the wheat will automatically be put into the storage drawer once it's done growing. So it costs almost nothing, at least by default, to craft yourself a hopper botany pot. I would highly recommend these over the regular ones, unless you're just, you know, have a bunch of clay, you're really early game and haven't found any iron yet, I suppose. These are great alternatives to having a traditional farm, fantastic for your mod pack. Uh, <laughs> if you're someone like me who just does not like setting up nice big farms and doesn't feel like going through the trouble of automating them. So the botany pots have you covered. And you'll see the difference right here, right now, there it is. The wheat automatically going into the storage drawer or whatever storage container, again, that this is set on top of. I can right click this and the wheat should have fallen into my hand, but it didn't. It did before in testing, uh, but the seed is still there. So it's just gonna keep automatically repopulating the wheat. Perhaps there's just a chance sometimes the harvest does not yield anything. Of course, if you find yourself getting impatient, you can always use some bone meal on these as well and grow a whole bunch of stuff. Now, these don't just work for wheat, potatoes, carrots, etc. They work for all kinds of cool stuff. So I have a sugarcane one here by putting some sand and some sugarcane, I made that. Soul sand and nether warts got me a nether wart farm. If I put a chorus flower on top of some end stone, I get chorus fruit and soul sand with a withering rose and I have wither roses. All of these things automatically being farmed with no electricity or anything like that forever and ever and ever. So botany pots are really cool, albeit a little bit slow. You may find yourself making a handful of these as you're trying to automate different products in the game and you're trying to get a bunch of them. It's also worth noting that botany pots out of the box has a whole bunch of mods it already supports by default, such as Biomes of Plenty, Batania, Buzzier Bees, Metal Bushes, Harvest Craft, Quark, Simple Farming, a whole bunch of stuff. It even supports Snad, which is a popular um, Minecraft mod, which basically uh, is sand that grows sugarcane and things like that a lot quicker. So you can put Snad in here instead of sand and grow the sugarcane a lot faster. So that is really cool. And supposedly with Craft Tweaker and things like that, you can add even more uh, crops and soil to the botany pots. And honestly, that's really it for this mod spotlight. It's a pretty straightforward mod. I highly recommend you check it out in the download link below and subscribe for more mod spotlights just like this. I'm checking out all kinds of mods that are being released for 1.16, which is really, really exciting. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I will catch you in the next one. See ya.